This is Eyewitness News. Now, Michelle Tuzzi, Mark Brown, and Dallas Reigns with the Southland's number one news at four. Also, a new kind of surgery aimed at preventing strokes. A local woman is the first person to have that surgery here in California. Late details coming up. Right, well, coming up, it is a health risk facing millions of Americans, the possibility of a stroke. If the doctors look for this cause of stroke and identify it, we could, we could treat them before they have their massive stroke. Now, a new kind of surgery can help prevent those kinds of massive strokes. Health specialist Denise DeDore talks with a surgeon next. Strokes are the nation's third leading cause of death, and while many survive, the impact on a patient's life can be devastating. Now, a new medical breakthrough may give doctors another option. Health specialist Denise DeDore joins us with another advancement. D Denise. Mark and Michelle, when doctors detect clogged coronary arteries, they can go in like a plumber and clean up the blockage. Sometimes they put in a small device to keep the arteries from clogging again. Now, surgeons at Glendale Adventist Medical Center can do the same in the brain to prevent strokes. A 76-year-old Glendale woman becomes the first Californian to have a stroke prevention device placed in her brain. The procedure turns out to be a little more complicated than anticipated. Because she developed another area while she was waiting for the stent. And so we treated one area that was only two millimeters in size, and that's probably about like that. Uh, and we treated a, a larger area that was about three millimeters in size. Dr. George Rapard's patient had extensive blockage in the arteries of her brain. It was causing numerous mini-strokes. In this case, this woman was suffering from drop attacks. She would just lose consciousness periodically, uh, and she was suffering from, from sudden episodes of severe dizziness. A massive stroke was just around the corner. Like an angioplasty for the heart, a catheter is guided through a leg artery up to the blockage in the brain. A balloon opens up the plaque, and then neuroendovascular surgeons insert a wire mesh stent. Things in the brain don't work the same way that they do in the heart. The arteries are real small, real friable. They're paper thin. These two stents illustrate the difference in size between the brain and heart arteries. This stent is used in coronary angioplasty, and this little one is called the wingspan stent, newly approved to be used in the brain. The nice thing about putting a stent in afterwards uh, is that the stent will actually tack the damaged artery back, part of the artery back up against the wall and hold the artery open. Of the 700,000 Americans who have strokes each year, about 10% come from hardening or blockage of the arteries of the brain. The wingspan brain stent is for patients who have 50% blockage who can't be treated with drugs. After four hours, Dr. Rippard says his patient came through with flying colors. Pretty good. Uh, certainly, uh, certainly better than, than, than it was uh, before and certainly better than it was when she came in having repeated mini strokes. Glendale Adventist Medical Center is the first California hospital to perform this procedure. The device was FDA approved back in August. Experts say it has a 97% success rate with a 4% incidence of death or stroke 30 days after the procedure. To find out more about your risk for stroke or arterial disease in the brain, log on to our website at abc7.com.